Hey, how's it going everybody? I'm Flinger Foo, and today, today we're going to be talking about the different types of taming pins to use, when to use them, what, how, what you need to build them, and what is their best usage and most recommended uh, way of taming certain dinosaurs with certain pins. All right, so I'm going to cover quite a few of them, a bunch of the ones I know. Um, I, I run uh, things like Soloing the Ark, stuff like that, the different series that I do, plus I also play on the Gaming Evolve server, and a lot of the stuff I do happens to be solo. Now, it's that's mostly by choice, and that's because I enjoy the challenge of soloing. Now, when soloing, there's, you know, there's kind of a thing that you want to do. There's a, there's a certain tactic that you want to use, and there's a certain phrase you want to use um, with it that says, uh, work smart, not hard, all right? Now, uh, that's exactly what a taming pin does in ARC, is it allows you to tame really high-level stuff at... Uh, much easier way um and i will explain a few of that i will show a bunch of uh that in uh action and i will show off a bunch of different types of taming pens and their best uses all right so hey let's get to the first one now where i cover the most extensive use of taming pens is when i'm doing my soloing the arc series in soloing the arc um, it's very important because I'm the only one here. I don't have a tribe. I don't have teammates. It's just me versus the environment and versus all the dinos on the island. And um, a, a bunch of different taming pins that I cover in the creation of Soling the Ark, I go through quite a few different types of taming pins, quite a few different renditions. This one right here is one of the most simple ones. This one right here is uh, quickly erected. And the benefits of ones like this is that you can just carry around um, all the stuff on a dino, say like an Argent, and you can quickly put it down. Now, when you're putting down ones like this, um, you want to make sure that, wrong button, you want to make sure that you, um, use stone fence foundations. If you use wood fence foundations with stone on top of it, it'll just get destroyed. Because dinos coming in, they can, most of them can damage wood. Most of the dinos in this game can damage wood, so... If they destroy the fence foundation that's underneath it, the stone wall will um, topple. Okay, now on this one right here, a lot of people will use doors, a lot of people use windows. I use one door with a reinforced door on this one, so where I can easily come in and out and I can check on the dino. But I don't have to worry too much about things getting through. This one right here is more of a multi-use thing. Smaller dinos, they can get through there. This one right here, I could trap a dillo in it even if I wanted to. I wouldn't want to, but I could. And that's the whole idea. It's multi-use is the thing. And then the door is where no matter what size of dino I put in there, I can easily get it out. All right, so now that we've covered that one, let's go take a look at a few more. All right, this taming pen here, this is more permanent. This is the kind of structure that if you if you have active dinosaurs in the area that you want to tame, that you know you can drag them to it over and over, that you can just put down and just forget about it until you need it. Um, and here, let me show you this one in action. This one, it's, it, it's um, four high, so you can fit T-Rexes in there. And it, nothing can pop out of there. You can tame Allosaurus in there. You can tame Carnos, T-Rexes, uh, even Therizinosaurus. They will damage the stone, but they're easily tameable in there. And here, let me show you by this. Yeah, go this right here. All right, and this is just how this one works. You go over and you tag it. And then you uh, pull them uh, over this way and you just dangle your meaty bits in front of them. You're like, hey, come on. Mmm, come, let's eat me. Yes. Eat me, dude. And then you just come up like this, slowly walk him up, and he'll come up. You gotta make sure you stay kind of low, and then he'll just fall in. That's it. And that's how that one works. And then now you can come down here, and you can shoot through the sides like this, and just knock him out. Everybody has a good day. Throw whatever, your meat, your berries, whatever it takes to knock him out, and he's fine. All right, now this one over here, this one is a on taming pin. And this is, um... A different design from what you'll see most other places. This one is set so where you put the hyenid on in there and then you crawl underneath it. Uh, this spot right here, I can't crawl underneath. Right over here, I can't. And then you just crawl underneath it and you come over like this and then there are... 
uh, um, fence foundations right here that stop his line of sight. And I will show you how to make that here in just a minute. Let me grab the resources real quick. All right, now how you make this one, this one right here, it's, I use primarily wood. You can use stone, everything like that, but I just make it out of wood so it's easy to repair. And it's just easier that way. All right, now this one right here, you wanna make sure, right, that you use five wooden foundations. And so where you have this little kitty corner area right like this. So now that you have those, you can break this. You can break this. And break this one. All right, and then you take and you put that there, that there. All right, that there, that there, that there. And craft up another one on the fly. Pick that one right there. And then you take the fence foundations. Now the fence foundations are what makes this work. You take and you snap them right like that. Each one of these ceilings. I like that. Boom. And then... I like that. Now this right here, this makes it where when the Hyenodon comes through here, he can't see anything past this fence foundation. Right? And it makes it where you can basically just do whatever you want with him. All right, now we're going to take this, put this in there. And on this right here, I'm going to go like that. Like that. Like that. And like that. And so where we can get in and out, or we can uh, put a uh, thing up on top, I'm just going to put in... A ramp but before I put the ramp I want to find out because ground in arc is never completely level so I want to find out which one we cannot crawl through over here so after we found that then we can put the ramp there because after you put the ramp there you're not gonna be able to crawl through it any anyway so we can crawl through all of that can we crawl over here all right well hey we can crawl through all four sides of it so one side has to get sacrificed um we will go with that one all right so that side right there we will not be able to crawl um through but now let's go grab a hyena done and i'll show you how this works and then you want to make sure that you have a hatch frame ready to go all right now that we've got a hyena on the toughest part about this entire thing is just getting her inside the pen that's it all right and we're gonna go kill this raptor really quick. but she can still get out of there. So you want to be paying very close attention to it. Because she can still get out. All right. Go like this. Now that we have the hatch frame on there, you want to run up here. Pop the hatch frame on, and now she's stuck. There's no getting her out of there. And now we have to exit the area. And then come back after her aggro is cleared. So let's do that really quick. All right, now that we've left the area and cleared aggro, now we just land, hop off, duck down, and work our way over there to her. You don't need Gilly, you don't need anything. And she's just walking around in there, come up to her, and pet her. That's it, it's that simple. And she's going to walk around. She cannot see you. The only problem will be if something runs over the top of the hatch frame, which you could use a ceiling for it. I just use a hatch frame because it's easier to um, replenish when you have to reset the trap. There you go. It's that simple. All right, now right here is Argentavis trap. This one right here, it's so simple, but it works. It works really well. Um, it's just six foundations with pillars built along the corners, which is three ceilings or four ceilings right there. 
So where the Argent can't get out, it'll get trapped. You have a dinosaur gate right here to close right behind it. And then this right here, you can fly right through this with a um, Pteranodon. So if you have an Argent following you, and you're on a Pteranodon, which is generally the most preferred way of trapping one, is you can just run right through here. The Argent will chase you. You can swoop back around, and then you can just close the door right behind it, locking him in. Now, if you wanted to, you could actually put another um, pillar, like just one pillar right here, so where the Argent has a harder time turning around. So where it, he, it'll be easier for him to get stuck. I don't ever use those. Uh, some people will like them, I don't, but yeah. All right, so now that we've covered the basics of those types of uh, taming pins, now we're gonna get into a little bit more maneuverable taming pins. All right, so say if you're right along here, along the redwoods on the island or any other place where there's a river, um, not a place on the open ocean where there's lead sickness out there, um, just over here on the open ocean, and you want to tame anything along the this river. Um, and all you do is come out here, you make a raft, pop that sucker down. All right, and then you come up here. Um, got no options. I'd sail. All right, and then from there, you just want to place down some foundations. Now, the foundations, when you put them on a raft, most people already know how to do this, but all you do is just line it up at the center, and you set it out like that. Do something like this. Hop back up here. Snap those to there. All right, and this right here, this becomes the basics of your taming pen. Now, with that, like this. Uh, let's see. Some of these, and I don't need the foundations anymore, so let's leave those there. And I screwed up because this right here should be a door. Oh, actually, we can just put a door right here. All right. That do I have enough stuff to make a stone door on me? Yep, right there. All right. There we go. So now we can come in and out of there like that. But this isn't. A very serviceable taming pin because it's so small so now we want to raise it up a little bit like that like that and then now that it that's up like that right and then now we can build out like that so now we have an area that we can use as sort of a way to crash onto. You can insert this into an area. Here, let me show you. Uh, let's leave Super Dodo over here. All right. And then we'll take this, and you can just move this all around the island. Come on, buddy. All right. So we'll leave this ramp. We'll leave this thing here, and then I will go show you an even better one. But this one right here will help you tame just about anything that you need to along the redwoods, anything like that. And you can go pretty far in there, grab something, take it down to this uh, raft, and just knock it out and tame it. Dire bears, all sorts of stuff. Dire bears, thylacolio, um, dodicruses, ankylos, anything that you find inside the redwood biome. And the only downside is, it's once again, it's made on a wooden raft. That's it. All right, now here on the subscriber server, we generally use a different combination of different uh, taming pins. Of course, we have the Hyenodon one right here, and then we use the mod called S+. So we don't have to recreate this hatch frame whenever we uh, need a new one. We just have to pick it up with the demo gun and then put it down right here. So where it's always loaded, you don't have to go run and grab anything. And then, yeah, so it, it's just perfect. You can put a Hyenodon in there, you can go in there, you can pet it, and then everything works out fine. Now, right here, we've got another um, one of the Argent Taming Pins. And this thing right here, this is, um, it's even more mobile than usual. Here, let me show you. Um, all right, now with mods like 
S plus, you can quickly and easily pick up whatever pen that you want and move it around the island. I could pick up all of this, put it on uh, my dino, go anywhere I wanted to, and tame any flying creature that I wanted to. All right, but I'm not going to do that right now. We're just going to put this back up there, and I don't know why we have a combination of S plus and non S plus. But then, after this, I will show you a little bit more permanent version. Um, let's see. That works even better. All right, so now that we've got that. Now we're going to talk about this one. This is an all purpose taming pen that will fit just about anything in. The only things it will not tame are a Quetzal, um, a Giga, a Titanosaur. That's really about it. <laughs> Everything else you can tame inside of here. See, with this one right here, if it's big enough to fit inside of this pen, then it's too big to fit through the pillars. If it's small enough to fit through the pillars, then there is a window wall here blocking it. All right, now how you build this, this one is a little bit more extravagant in its creation. You want to make sure you put, and, and you have to eyeball it. This is really, really the biggest pain in the butt, is that you have to eyeball and put one fence foundation right here right here and it'll pop out right like this and then that will start the entire ring around that and i made this um in just a few hours actually um it didn't really take long now in the back we have another platform that goes up here that provides a nice viewing area for shooting things in there if it's if it's say like it's a big creature like an allosaurus or something like that and it can bite you really far then you can come down here and then you can just shoot like this from a distance all right, but up top, we also have a behemoth gate. All right, let me open that. There we go. So where we can open that up, we can drop any dino that we can uh, carry it with a bird or anything like that in there, and then we can shoot it at our convenience. And then say if we're going to tame a griffin or an argent or something, you can just close that sucker up, and it can't get out of there. And then when you uh, trap it in there, you can take it through with a um, pteranodon. It can run right through there. And then the griffin or the argent is trapped. And you can close it like that. Right behind you. It's very efficient. It's very permanent. Um, it's not the kind of pen that you can uh, pick up and take other places. But it will tame just about anything you could possibly want. Other than the super large dinos that damage stone. Um, when it comes down to uh, things like therizinosauruses and stuff that can damage stone i would rather just use a pen kind of like this and then tap trap it in there because these ones right here are more expendable all right now making a big giant permanent structure like that one how you need to do it well let's take this one down first and we're gonna cannibalize all the materials over here that we need in order to do it and this is the beauty of using S+. Now, I don't expect everybody to uh, be using S+. Matter of fact, I expect most people to be using the default stuff. But I assure you that this right here can be made with the default stuff if you have a big enough flat area. That's the big thing right there. You have to have a nice flat area. If you don't have a flat area, you're not going to be able to do it because the foundations aren't going to be able to snap. And let's put this over here. Um, I'm not sure I want to cut off the metal spawns, but you know what? It'll be fine. It is what it is. Okay. And you want to go... See, that's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five back, and then six across. Four. Two, three, four... see now one two three four. yep like that now let's fill it in Get rid of my gamma 
building in the middle of the night. Normally, I don't like using, yeah, using Gamma, but, you know, it was a thing. So, I don't like building by torchlight either. All right. So, that right there should be good. All right. So, now let's go grab... Let's see. Well, we're going to need a pillar. Let's see. Is that in there? Did I bring out my pillars? I probably did not, but I brought out those. So we're gonna need to go like that, and let's see. Um, and I made up some medium pillars. Normally, um, you can use you can use up just regular pillars, and they will work just fine. I'm using medium pillars because medium pillars are heavy, but um, also they uh, take up less room. All right, when placing these pillars, you wanna make sure that you have one like that and one like this, because you wanna use that as a straight line. That way there, when you're, wrong button, when you're taking this and you're setting it this up, you can make sure, you snap it and make sure it is straight. It's like that, no, not like that. All right, let's uh, pick that up. And that's the wrong button. All right, that one wouldn't have worked anyway. Pick up. All right, let's put this down without the pillar being. Whoop. There you go. Right, now this right here is the hardest part of the entire build is eyeballing this one thing All right now that we're like that let's get this in K mode Come out here and make sure that's straight and you have to have the end of it right there in the very center and if it's not exactly 100% straight, it will be completely thrown off for the entire build. All right, let's see if that works. All right, it's okay. All right, now that that's like that, let's come up here and let's run, wrong button, run that all the way around. And this right here, they'll just snap. Just two there. There we go. All right, now this one right here can get picked up. Or destroyed if uh, that's what you're doing. All right, so now when we have that, we can just take this and drop. Pillars right in the middle of each of these foundations. Okay, and then now that we have that, come down here. And while well, we're gonna put that down. Need any ceilings right yet. Put that in there. And then we're going to pop these suckers down. All right, now these right here, and that's why we put those down. It's where we can put these on. Let's use the Q to get around. There we go. Okay. I guess we can go like that. Yeah, what the heck. Right, seven. There we go. That. Right, put this on manual. All right, let's go get some ceilings. Now we've got that assembled. Now we're going to go uh, grab a behemoth gate. And we're going to put it in there. But for now, we're actually going to take, put that there. I think we'll put, not right there. Actually, yep. Like 
that. Hold on, yeah, we didn't even need to put that like that. All right, well, we'll go uh, I'll go finish uh, crafting the rest of the stuff, and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, now we're going to put these right here. This. Bam. And then if you're building without S+, plus, then you're probably going to have to add an additional ceiling here and then use uh, stone ramps that come down there and intersect. That's okay. I'm building with S+, plus, so that's the way I'm going to do it with this. And then also we have this, uh, this right here. We're just going to put it just like that. And then now we have this. Now we have a, a, a dilemma of whether or not we want to remove these ceilings or leave them in. I'm going to leave them in for now. But... I like that. Let's see. Yep. And that's the way we want them. And we want that to be on manual. Manual. Close up. There we go. Working just fine. All right. Let's close that up. Come back over here. And now we've got two of those suckers. Now we just need to put up another ramp right there. And then we need to put another door in the back. I made a door right there. A door. Ceiling there. Looking pretty good. But we need ramps. Gotta put that there. Put that down there. Here, skip through that. Go. There we go. Now we just need a couple ramps. All right, now let's stick these up here. And there we go. A very, very serviceable taming pen for just about anything that you want. And what's better than one taming pen? Two taming pens. So now we can have multiple knocked out at one time. Very cool, very easy, and very efficient. All right, so hey. If you like this, if you like the build, if you like the taming pen ideas, the different sorts of ones that we use, then hey, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo. And take it easy, and I'll see you guys on Soloing the Ark or the Gaming Evolve server. Take it easy, everyone.